Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to turn this farm fresh vegetables into an amazing dish that's called a jab sandal. It's a Georgian dish that's mostly enjoyed in the summertime when there are a lot of fresh vegetables available and could be eaten hot or cold. This is some sort of ratatouille. I don't believe this dish has strictly Georgian origins. A jepsandal or a jepsandali is Azerbaijani, Georgian and Armenian dish, also popular in the Northern Caucasus and from the Turks languages translated to how amazing you are. And here are the vegetables I'm going to use in my ajab sandal today is two large tomatoes, five small potatoes, two, three medium eggplants, five, six different types of peppers. I'm using bell and shishito, one chili pepper, one large onion, five cloves of garlic, one large summer squash, that's kind of flower looking vegetable, one bunch of dill and one bunch of cilantro. We're also going to need some oils. We're going to need half a cup of sunflower oil, which is high smoke point oil, because we're going to be frying up some things. And we're going to need a half a cup of olive oil for the main dish. We're also going to need some salt, pepper, and red pepper. And this dish absolutely needs Georgian dry spices, which are Asphanidian salt. And this salt has seven ingredients in it. If it doesn't have all seven, it cannot be called Svanadian salt. And we're going to need some Utsho Suneli, which is practically a fenugreek. Here you have a tablespoon of Svanadian salt and a tablespoon of dried fenugreek. We're going to start by dicing into cubes one large onion and I'm using the sweet onion. I think the uh, kind is called Walla Walla onion, but if you guys don't have a sweet onion, you can use the yellow onion. In a large cast iron pot, we're going to heat up half a cup of olive oil and we're going to put our onions in there and we're going to start sauteing the onions. They don't need to be browned as long as they are soft. We can turn off the heat and we're going to continue with other ingredients. We also need to remove the skin from two large tomatoes and to do so, we need to place two large tomatoes in the bowl. We're going to make a crisscross cut in the tomato and we're going to pour some hot water. After about five minutes, your skin should be easily coming off your tomatoes. After the skin is removed, your tomatoes in the dish will produce more juices and that's what we need. So just remove the skin from the tomatoes and then we need to roughly, uh, maybe half moon, slice them. And we're going to set them aside and continue on with other ingredients. Then we need to slice five small Yukon gold potatoes into quarter of an inch circles. And the reason I told you when you saute the onions in the cast iron pot to turn the heat off because the rest of the ingredients are going to be placed on top of the onions in layers and each layer is going to be prepared differently. In the large pan, heat up half a cup of sunflower oil or any type of high smoking point oils. And we're going to put our heat on the highest and we're going to quickly sear the potatoes. Potato is a starchy vegetable, so if we don't sear it before we put it in the pot and saute it with the rest of the vegetables, your potato simply is going to fall apart and turn into mush. So we need to sear the potato on, on both sides and then just place it on top of our sauteed onions. Then we're going to season this layer with seasonings and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to use for this layer. We're going to season the potato layer with quarter of a teaspoon of Swanadian salt, quarter of a teaspoon of Utsho Suneli, which is fenugreek. We're going to uh, use quarter of a teaspoon of salt, quarter of a teaspoon of mixed black and red peppers, and we're going to slice in two cloves of garlic. Then we're going to roughly chop one bunch of cilantro and one bunch of dill. 
a parsley practically never used in Georgian cuisine. So if you don't like cilantro, well, that's too bad. You have to use it in this dish. Just grab a little bit of fresh herbs and sprinkle it over a potato layer. Then we're gonna continue with our eggplant layer. And I picked those eggplants in the farm. And I visited a farm not far from my house and I absolutely loved picking the fresh vegetables. And my eggplants are uh, not fully grown, so therefore they don't have a lot of seeds as you can see. But if you're using a large eggplants, um, make sure you get the ones that are slightly smaller. They will have less seeds in them. So we're just gonna cut our eggplants into quarter of an inch circles. We're gonna spread them around the board and eggplant needs to be seasoned. So we're just gonna sprinkle it with salt, let it sit for a couple minutes and then we're gonna pat it dry with a paper towel. We're gonna turn them on the other side and sprinkle them with salt too and pat them dry and this way they're gonna be ready to be fried and then we're gonna quickly sear our eggplant in the same uh, oil that we seared our potatoes on both sides and this is done for the same reason we seared our potatoes first of all the eggplant is gonna have a little bit of that crispy uh, outer uh, layer and it will not fall apart in the main dish when we place everything in layers and as i told you this dish can be eaten cold and the fried eggplant tastes so much better than just the fresh one or steamed one and look how pretty it looks so put it on top of the potatoes and then we're gonna cover it with tomatoes we are not seasoning the eggplant layer since the eggplant already has the salt but we are going to season the tomato layer with the same exact manner with all the spices that we put in for our potatoes and this vegetable is called summer squash it normally does not go in this recipe in the original recipe but i picked it and I didn't know what else to do with it. So I decided why not to put it in our Ajab Sandal. It uh, is gonna taste delicious. And we're not searing the summer squash because as a matter of fact, I do want this uh, vegetable to fall apart in the dish. So we're just gonna place it in a layer on top of the tomatoes. And we're gonna season it the same way we seasoned our potatoes with quarter of a teaspoon of all the spices we had. And I can't even express to you how excited I was to see this baby bell peppers in the farm. It was like a gold mine, me finding them. And of course I picked a lot of them. I picked all different colors. I picked the yellow ones, the red ones, and the orange ones. And I think they just gonna look so good in this dish. So you can use the bell peppers, all different colors for this dish, all the grown up ones but I'm using the baby ones and then I also picked the shishito pepper that I'm gonna use in the dish and I also picked the jalapeno which is a hot pepper you can use either green chili or red chili for this dish but it does need some spiciness to it so we're just gonna place all the peppers on top of our summer squash layer and we're gonna season it also the same way with a quarter of a teaspoon of all the spices that we have um, picked for this dish and then we're gonna put the rest of our uh, garlic in there and we're gonna top it up with fresh herbs and that's it all the layers are done we're just gonna pour a little bit of water maybe a half a cup of water then put your pot on the stove and we're gonna simmer it on low for 35 minutes and just close the lid slightly with a steam escaper if you have one and after 30 35 minutes your dish is ready we're just gonna drizzle some olive oil on top of it and we can close the lid and let the dish sit for about 10 minutes until everything gets settled there then you can serve it and enjoy it hot with fresh bread or as a side dish to your poultry or steaks 
or refrigerated overnight and enjoy it as an appetizer next day. And as you can see, look how all the vegetables are just perfect shape, nothing fell apart, everything just looking absolutely delicious. So this dish that is called Ajab Sandal or Ajab Sandali is truly amazing. And I hope you like this video, guys. And I hope you enjoy my little trip to the farm. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.